guys, welcome back to the channel and let's talk about Nemo and Nemo's performance with the Symphony Orchestra Deal Solothurn when they did an orchestra version of his winning of the winning song at the code and also people wanted me to talk about <laughs> when he got the return back to Sears Airport and many people say that yeah he didn't get the same treatment like Baby Lasagna did. I was like Ah, okay. I can take a look at that, but I was like, did he, did did Nemo, Nemo perform, or what happened? But anyway, let's begin with this orchestra version of his the winning entry. And uh, well, you can tell that they are dressed as the Celine Dion from this winning entry from 1988 in that outfit and that hideous skirt and those shoes. I feel like Miranda Priestly hideous skirt. Oh, I love a lot this orchestra version of the song. Mm. I have no idea why I was rec recommending this YouTube channel, this uh, American conservative right wing uh, YouTube uh, people. I think it was Ben, what's his name? Ben Shapiro? I think it was Ben Shapiro. I have no idea who that is. I mean, I've heard a name, but I would never listen to that person. And they were talking about Eurovision, and I was very confused at why Nemo won, and claimed it was all because of his sec of the sexual identity of non-binary. I was like, well, did you even listen to the song? The song is amazing. His vo their vocals, Nemo's vocals are one was one of the best, and the staging was very cool. So talk about focus on the wrong thing. Come on. So let everybody know I'm done playing the game. I'm all break out of the chains. You better I can't look away from that ugly dress, ugly outfit. I mean, Nima has a very similar voice to Conchita Wurz. It's very the operatic, dramatic vocals when he just hit the high notes. Moi. A whole musical around this song now. I mean, here's the thing with the, this whole uh, people are confused by sex, people's sexual identity. I was like, you know what, there's one thing I judge you on, but that's, that's your character. Everything else I don't pretty much don't care about. I mean, you can have the sexual identity you every whatever you want. You can believe in whatever you want, and you can have kind of whatever religious, whatever political view you want. Sure, sometimes we don't agree on anything, but the whole sexual identity thing, I don't understand why people are so focused on that. I was like, what, how does that bother you? I was like, Nemo can have whatever sexual identity they want to have, non-binary. Okay, that's your that's your choice. Maybe not mine, but that's your choice. So I was like, why focus on that? Because we have a whole discussion to work on the, our way to work. And yeah, one of my colleagues uh, said basically the same thing. It was all he won basically because of the sexual identity of um, of non-binary. Um, and I was like, no, maybe just focus on the correct thing is here. Nemo had a strong voice, strong song, strong staging, and he went up against big competitors this year. So maybe focus on the on the 
focus on something else than on than his than their sexual identity. Maybe focus on the song instead. I'm sorry, I don't know why I'm talking about the whole thing, but it's very confusing sometimes when people focus on that. And y'all, you remember that back in 2000, we had men in skirts in Division 2 and no one said the word. Yeah, I think it was Iceland's performance who had, I remember, oh, I remember 2000, that was a good year. 2000 was a good year in Stockholm Gloomen with many, many very iconic songs. I remember Iceland's male performer he had a skirt on, it was, I think it was either that they are talking about or as many tattoos. I was like, yeah, let people live, please. That was a good good version. I mean, I don't know why this whole video became talking about sexual preferences, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think sometimes we need to expand our minds to the fact that just because you're straight, you're one way, just because you're gay, you're one way, just because you're bisexual, one way, just because you're lesbian, you're one way, just because you're non-binary, you're one third way. I think we need to expand our mind of how people can actually be. And the sad part is that Straight guys usually tells me, at least, that when they're talking to me, they feel more comfortable about expressing emotions, and that's why they like to have gay friends because they feel like when with me, with gay gay people, they can actually express their emotions because straight friends will judge them. That's sad, but I'm honored people tell tell me that they feel comfortable talking to me, and one of my co-workers that I say is, is the straight version of me because he also loves Eurovision he was like yeah I've been, been basically called gay my entire life because he's not interesting in the straight things so I'd be like yeah can we just expand our mind about the whole thing why focus on someone's sexual identity or gender preference can we just focus on the character and talk about their that Nemo here is the fantastic singer and the song was amazing yeah, sure. I thought, it, like I said, I thought it was going to be between France, Croatia, and Switzerland. Yeah, and I was happy with either one. Yeah, I think it's whole. Anyway, and also people want me to, sorry, to dive in to when uh, Nemo returned home, and people said it was a little bit shady because this was not the reference. This was not the welcoming home that Baby Lasagna got. But let's see. Do we have that clip here? Yeah. That's a welcoming. I mean, for me, to, I mean, I'm gonna feel like this. For me, it is a little of, of, of an important win. I mean, 10 years ago, Conchita was one, and I was like, yeah, that's the statement how the Europe are treating the, the LGBTQ Q plus A and everything else community. Sorry for God, if I got forgot a letter. But, yeah, and now I feel like Nemo's win and also pretty much a big statement how we are treating that community, the LGBTQ plus A 
Did I forget a word? Okay, I mean, I'm sorry if I could forget a word. It's a little bit too early for that. But I feel like that's an also a point of win because, I mean, many people have been treated badly because they're either trans, gay, non binary. I was like, why can't we just talk about their character instead, not of their sexual identity instead? I don't know. I mean, this seems like a nice welcoming home. I might go to Switzerland next year. That would be a nice vacation for some for change. I have no idea what he's talking about. Damn, I don't speak German anymore. I heard some. I have some words that it's important. Protect. What? What does it say? What does it say on her shirt? I think it said protect trans. Does it say protect trans kids? Yeah, girl, you you we have to because those those are targeted. I don't, I don't understand people's fascination of targeting trans kids. I was like, can we just let them be live their own life? It doesn't bother me at all. I mean, my hubby talked about he met someone who has been trans, 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 whose someone is older who has transitioned into be a woman. I was like, well, good for you. Good for you. Uh, good for you if you want. That's your life. Live your life. Have fun. And I don't mind. Mm. And the same with... I mean, I think many pe many kids realize that bo they are born in the wrong body very early, early on. And, uh, and uh, yeah, I think if... I mean, uh, it, is a, it is a discussion for later. But I'm going to say... I mean, many. I think many people who who identified as trans, if I'm if I'm heard correct, I think they identified it very uh, very early on. I think I was eleven when I realized I was not straight. I think it was eleven. I think I told my mother once in eleven or something. I feel I'm not as the same as other guys. I think I was eleven. I was very young, so. Why is this video become about this? I mean, I was just talking. I was. I thought I was just going to talk about this welcoming home. I mean, uh, maybe not the rock concert that Baby Lasagna I got, but I'm gonna say it's a pretty nice but well, welcome you home. Bye, Nemo! We found you! <laughs> that was a good one by France. I mean, I'm gonna say, sure, it was not the rock concert welcoming home that Baby Lasagna I got, but we don't know yet, but I, I presume that Nemo's gonna do, um, that Nemo's gonna do a concert in Syrish, or, yeah, I think this is a Syrish airport. I think it's the Nima's gonna do a performance better, and now when it is the rainy, what? I'm sorry, it is too early, it's eight in the morning. Uh, now when Nima is the reigning champion of, of Eurovision for a year until 2025, I mean, I'm gonna say, I think it was the best. I think uh, France, Croatia, and Switzerland, either that was a great option for a win because it was like neutralizing. The whole Eurovision chaos. It felt like it was. It's like okay, Eurovision is neutral again, <laughs> and um, because Switzerland is basically the most neutral country in the whole Europe, <laughs> so it was like great. Um, yeah, I mean, I think it is because also I think what he should do now. I mean, he should do tours, press, new music, and everything because now really should really milk the moment that he is the current winner of Eurovision that. Nemo is the current winner of the Eurovision. Sorry, I think they should really make, make the moment. Go on the summer tour. It just, it, of sure it's May, but they should go on the summer tour, perform at Pride, 
right music and this is what pretty much was thinking about baby lasagna too that baby lasagna is a little bit how they are you and Kelly and Jan from Poland the well if you want I think they should do the same for baby lasagna pay put up mini tours I think look at Jan I think the baby lasagna should do a Jan here and perform mini tours throughout whole Croatia in the beginning and then expand the tour to do more I mean look at Jan he's still performing he's still out there so baby lasagna you have a moment there and look at Kelly. Kelly sold out a concert everywhere. I think he was sold out the full sold out concert tour in Finland. He was in Sweden. I think he was in many countries. So yeah, just milk the moment, baby lasagna and Nemo. Milk the moment. Anyway, this was a longer video than I expected, but anywho, to the loop. Oh hi, you're still here. Have you, yeah, I hope you have not forgotten to subscribe. So subscribe here and look for the uh, recommended video over here and end credit now. Bye! <laughs>